So just scrying the Aether of Des. And I'm seeing um, in previous visions, these were, this was a wave approaching me, but now it's like I am sort of being taken in to this cylinder that is, the, the wave sort of crests, comes crashing about and I'm sort of rolling around as if it were in a cylinder. And it's like I'm seeing uh, angels coming at me, the four uh, Arfeolj is appearing twice, uh, the four governors of this Arfeolj Kadamp, uh, Arfeolj again, and um, Zingjen. And, and I'm just feeling some energy coming up off of the books, the leaves of this book, and it's like, um, at first I'm seeing the cylinder I'm in curve itself into a U-shape, a tube in a U-shape, and it's like this is now expanding out into a sphere. So once again, I'm seeing different parts. So earlier I saw something that was much more Zax like an abyssal, and this is much more getting into the um, feelings of, how do I describe it, of Lil, the final Aether. Uh, Zip and Lil are my two favorite uh, Aethers to scry for obvious reasons, if you've already done it. But what I'm seeing is that it's like I'm seeing all of the a lot of these later aethers at once. I think maybe because it's my natural affinity, but also I'm being told that um, even though there's some strangeness and some weirdness that I had in the middle one, which will appear on the blog, but also um, that ultimately this is going to like right now I'm getting the later aethers I'm seeing because I'm seeing a little bit more of that stellation, sort of like a reverse of that kind of coming at the heart, you know, almost like a sphere if it were stellating inwards at various points. Um, and it's like there's this, this reconciliation that's trying to happen, or rather, um, a navigability across the various aspects of one's heart. And it's like I'm seeing through this constant effort to keep it soft, it's like there's this moment that's trying to happen, not quite there, but it's certainly closer than when I first started, of a big crystallization of the pain and suffering and, and all of that, that, you know, I like everybody else goes through or go through. Um, and I'm sensing it's as if the, it's as if the 38ers are trying to reconcile into one state of consciousness as opposed to a single, um, as opposed to 30 separate aethers. I'm definitely getting the sense now that going through each one right now, continuing to keep my heart soft, continuing to really feel into um, what's going on as I explore these aethers. I'm, again, I'm getting a lot of geometry, but I'm also getting the sense that this geometry is trying to all reconcile itself with the heart that I'm in. And there's just a lot of geometric thinking when you get into the aethers. There's no other way to describe it. Um, it's, it's a lot of stuff that gets on your mind and you try to look up a lot of different things. But what I'm sensing is that um, there's ultimately trying to be a unity across the different uh, aethers and sub-aethers, so to speak, and realizing that it's all one thing. Um, to quote the prayer, prayer of Abe, all one beginning from the, or perhaps I'm remembering it from somewhere else, regardless, um, prayer of Enoch is related by Abe. So... I'm trying to feel into this and really trying to understand it. And here I'm getting the same sensation kind of in my head, but now it's much more focused on the crown chakra. And it's, it's as if there's this, if you've ever seen like a seed produce a crystal in the laboratory, 
or a video of that, then this is sort of getting that sense. It's like the angels are trying to perfectly align the seed and I can sense what's going on up here at my crown chakra affecting everything else. And it's coming down to the softness of this heart and again, producing this crystalline feeling. But it's very important that the heart remain liquid as it were when that happens. So let me see what else. Let me get, let my cat in because this is my life now. <laughs> And there she goes. So anyway, let me just rearrange everything here once again. Trying to return once more to this sensation. So it's as if the Okay, so she's okay. Um by the way, it's it's a lot harder during this ritual to refocus after the cat is doing her thing. But we'll move on. So, so I'm sensing this coming down. It's important for the heart to remain very soft, like a like liquid. And I'm trying to think of like the opposite of cornstarch, which actually gets. Um, more solid if you try to approach it with a swift force and what i'm sensing is like it's um i don't quite have words for it yet right now uh but it's like as more as more comes at you you need to keep it even softer so anyway that's a first so so just focusing and remaining on this, I'm going to do a quick visualization here of um, the n-dimensional version of the square, which is uh, the orthoplex or hyperoctahedron. Um, and this is noted on my blog. So I'm going to try to do this um, just out of this sense of great uh, compassion and trying to reconcile things. And when I do this, um, it's like it's a very, it's suddenly a very reorienting feeling. And it is like the heart, and I'm getting this, this big sense, of, it's like I'm getting this four dimensional visualization, but also um, the, it's like the governors are like, good, we have a place to be, we have a, a an alignment here. And it's like myself and my holy guardian angel are occupying this central axis, that that it hits the center dead square and the, right in the center of the square and dead center in the square and then i'm seeing a lot of the it's like i'm seeing um there's this sphere emerging and i'm getting the sense that, th that this is the n-dimensional sphere so for others who may or may not be going through this do strongly recommend whichever symbol you may or may not be given during your first encounter in Zax and the governors there, um, that you do um, apply it once you have it, um, even to any of the Aethers, really, frankly, if you're having a not so great time. Um, the noontime one, I didn't quite, uh, it didn't quite click in that that's what I ought to have done. I've, I've, you know, sometimes you need to relearn the same lesson. But in so doing, it's almost as if it's the appropriate, um, you know, much as a crucible was an appropriate concept or, or container slash operation vessel for alchemy, so too would whichever symbol does, whichever symbol you happen to obtain, for me it was a white square, so too is this a nice focus to always come back to as you are encountering any issues with any other, um, any aether that you happen to be in. And it can happen in other aethers. I mean, this happened in, in deaths for me, um, which was unexpected, basically a little bit of abyssal energy early, but it's kind of nice too at the same time because it sort of allows, um, 
a certain, it allows that sort of abyssal energy to be dissipated isn't the right word, but um, spread out a little bit more. And if you're going to reconcile one aether, all of the aethers with each other, then that would include the abyssal one. Uh, so I'm just trying to see if there's anything else. So the angels are, are pleased with this. They say that the lessons here will apply to all of the remaining aethers, including Zach's when I get to it. And um, I think that's it. So asking if there's anything else and the angels are just bidding me be still. And that once again, they're just working through um, the entirety of my subtle body system. And I'm just sort of visualizing the same hyper octahedron throughout all of the places that tend to give me trouble. And in so doing, it's like I get this focus, but it also helps me very much to relax. And this is certainly helping. So I'm asking if there's anything else and they're saying no. So that sends the vision.